Hello, good people of YouTube, Mountbatten here, and welcome back to Star Wars Empire at War. This is the Star Wars Empire at War uh, remake mod, and uh, we are going to hopefully liberate this last part of the galaxy from the Rebels, or at least most of it today. Um, the AI is now on hard. I had it set on normal before. It was pretty tough before. But since they only have, well, like a handful of planets left, I decided let's make it interesting and crank it up to hard now. And uh, the aggressiveness of the AI has certainly stepped up a bit. Uh, they're kind of just sending, like, just stacks of ships toward pretty much every choke point that I have set up here. Um, if you want to get this mod, it's on the Steam Workshop. Just search for Empire at War Remake uh, mod, and it should be the first one that pops up. Um... It's been a while since I played this uh, saved game, so I'm not exactly sure what is... Okay, someone's coming to Ethor now. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what I had going on here just yet. Hapes needs some, some upgrades. Okay, we already got that going. Where's Ethor? Oh, it's right here. Jeez. I have not a lot here. Let's see, I've got Reinforcements on route. a bunch of fighters. So I've got an Imperial 2, a Centurion class, some Victory 2s. Um, oh, whoops, no, didn't mean to do that. Victory's Stop that. I'm trying to remember, how do I. No, how does one. There we go. Just trying to rotate the camera. Okay. So the station's fully upgraded. Let's divide up our fighters and bombers. I'd like to put all the bombers in one area so I can just spam them toward the end. Let's get our broadside cruiser away from the front line. So it looks like they have one capital ship. And then... Probably, since it's the Rebels, just a absolute crap ton of fighters. I don't know why it spawns the carriers in the front for some reason sometimes. It's weird playing this game with no music. I can't play it because it's Star Wars music and it's, you know, copyrighted. Interceptor squad reporting. Let's send the interceptors in. And... Is that it for their fighters? Uh. Hmm. So they've got one MC... Oh, it's a Nebula class. Oh, yeah, that's like the new Star Destroyer type deal. Look at that. Look at those. This mod's so pretty, y'all. Okay. That's the, is that their one cap... Oh, no, they have that. Was it the... Errant Venture, I think? Yeah, Errant Venture. Okay, let's go nuke this guy. I think we got one of their smaller ships. Oh, look, they have... Dauntless, another Nebula over here, and another Dauntless over here. Ooh, frame rate is dropping nice and quickly now. I wish there was some more lighting in the background. You can barely see anything. I mean, it makes the lighting on the models look good, and the explosions certainly light things up. God, they still have like a million fighters, even after all that. Oh god! Where did this come from? Talk about not expecting that. Well this uh just took a turn. Everybody a dog pile on this uh Luke uh Lucer Hulk Luker Hulk, however you pronounce it. Yeah, this is that Fortressa. This is, so this is a hero ship, so it keeps respawning even though you know they may not have any major shipyards left or whatever. Um, and yeah, they, they like to use it, but I, tsh, they snuck it on in here right underneath my nose, literally. Like how I started out with an almost an equal number of fighters as the uh, Rebels, and now we're uh, kind of on par now. Is that thing still like Now it's not. God. So fighting the Rebels feels like it's just a game of who has more fighters. Ooh. 
Okay, so uh, we won. I think we lost a couple of like, I think we lost the victory too, and the gas plant and all the anti fighter ships. But at least we made them pay for it. So let's get that repaired. Come on, game. You're all right. Let's go ahead and yoink Terrace out from underneath their noses. God, I love this weapon on the Annihilator. Wait, don't, don't use it to attack the Y-Wings. Use it to attack the... the fr oh, God. That... Wow. Okay. That's magical. I wasn't even focusing on the, uh, the MC-80 all the way. Now it is. That guy's getting ripped a new one right now. Oh, there he goes. And their actual fleet. Oh, that's a decent sized fleet. They're just sitting here. That's an interesting move. God, look at those guns go. So yeah, these aren't like lasers or anything. These guns are right here. They just fire like, like, like look at that, just incredibly fast. No, don't let their fleet escape. I need to bring an, inter an interdictor next time. Well, hey, we got the planet at least. It's like it's telling me it's a tier 5 space station here, but then that was the hapes one and so he was oh, what is going on over here? Oh no, where is that going? Uh oh, how many is that? What do I have here at Kessel? Allegiance, 8 Imperial 2s, 2 uh, of the broadside cruisers, 2 of the fighter. Uh, carriers and four of the gunships. Oh no! I, I think I may actually be outgunned here. This is going to be spicy, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Ready for action. Oh, I saw their uh, icons on the minimap for like a fento second. That looks like a lot. Okay. So we do have eight Imperial 2s, but I think they just outnumber us. That is the hmm, high res asteroid. I think they just outnumber us. <laughs> and fighters for sure, so this is going to be friggin' spicy. Well, you're in kind of a good place back here. Um, now, this. Yeah, it's called Bismarck. Um, so, this uh, Star Destroyer right here, it is specially designed to take on capital ships. Which is great because they don't have that many capital ships. I saw they have a couple Mon Cal's and they have some Looser Hulks. Um, I just go cap it, uh, captures, capture the sensor over Force here and set. see where they are at. Um, but if they get within range, this should be pretty good. Uh, uh, but I, I think we're just going to get mauled by fighters here. So we've got okay, we got five more Imperial, Imperial twos. And our backups, and another broadside, and another fighter carrier. This is going to be. This is going to be something. Reporting. Capture this yet? Orders, sir. Instructions received. Enemy forces ahead. Oh no! Oh no! That's a lot. That's not even all of their ships either. So they've got the Magnificent class frigates. I just know this is Trade Federation frigate from uh, Battlefront 2. Carrier, they got an Acclimator. Dreadnought, more Carrier. The uh, Nebula class, MC-80, so they had a couple of those. And of course the Fortressa, which is glitching out. Another, it's not MC-80, what is this, MC-80A. Three more Dreadnoughts, oh boy. Tide class frigate. MC 30C. Fortress needs to stop doing that. On oh, their own, like, broadside cruiser doohickeys. Whatever those are called. 
Alright. Uh, they've entered uh, broadside range now. These missiles are great. Uh, these are basically like the Star Wars equ equivalent of nukes. And if he's firing at this, the blast radius actually should take out a lot of their uh, of their um, fighters. Because the fighters are just all hugging around the uh, Fortressa over there. Alright, Star Destroyer's opening up. Frames are tanking. I like how this happens on the one map too with like 15 quabillion objects in the background to render out. Oh god. Now that went after. Yep, there goes those ships. Okay, so that just absolutely friggin' nuked their missile cruiser. Uh, the MMC 70. Go, my fighters. We just lost our mining. Yeah, our mining doohickey. Bombers. Um, god, I don't even know what to send you guys after. Holding the Fortressa back for some reason? Oh no, it's moving. It's just pathing. Alright, let's go after the MC-80. The what are they holding this back for? Okay, it's moving now. Or is it just that slow? There comes in the Speedy Boy. Um, Speedy Boy is getting wrecked right now. The Speedy Boy has been wrecked. Okay, seems that in early trades we've, we've we've done okay. I don't know why they're sending in all their light ships at once. Although I do think they're winning the fighter trade, it seems like. Again, I don't know if this thing is just incredibly slow or they're just holding it, it and its fighters back for some reason. I what type of bizarre tactics this, AI, this uh, computer is using. Uh, apparently it's working because I'm, I'm running out of fighters. Good god, look at the fight. This thing just, is this, is this thing just like print fighters? This explosion pressure might make me start with much Okay, so yeah, it just, it just craps out X-Wings. Roger that. I've got it. Form up. Engines activated. Oh yeah, this guy's getting wrecked. I shouldn't have dropped him there. We have four wings of TIE bombers left. I'll begin working on the Fortressa. We're gonna be here a while. All fighters attack. Oh, they're retreating. Dude, wipe out that much of their stuff? Hmm. Attack. I don't think they even called in any reinforcements. Unless... Oh, was that like... Huh, because they had like 330-something. They had a 330 stack. Guess it was all just in fighters and, um... Light cruisers and, um, corvettes and stuff. Ah! Ah ha ha ha! Two hundred. Is this all I can send in the battle? Hmm. But it says the Death Star two, but somebody has building the Death Star one. That's okay. Let's uh, have it travel the Hapes first. Oh boy. This is going to take a minute. Literally having to travel from one side of the galaxy to the other. Alright, so I sent some scouts out. It looks like there's some ne'er-do-wells at Wayland, probably trying to get to Micah. How do you say that? So, the Death Star, does it have its own fleet with it? Hmm. I'm going to send a couple of ships with it. Just in case. Um... That way we can just retreat if need be. But I think just it'll go in and... I know in like the base game it, it has like a couple of Star Destroyers that travel with it. But I don't know about this mod pack what, what'll happen but we will find out. And there it is. Okay, so it looks like it does have its own... No, this is what I sent with it. Okay, cool. 
Um, there it is. <laughs> uh, oh, is that the planet way back there? Okay. Well, all right then. So looks like we gotta wait 190 seconds before we can use it. Oh, that's cool. It's actually like moving into position. All right. It's just all slowly and dramatically move toward the. Uh... Oh no, this isn't something. Like the, uh, these aren't my ships. These are yeah. These are a bunch of ISD ones. All right. Now I know if we get defeated, it automatically gets blown up. If it works like it did in the base game. Oh, that looks much better than the normal model. Um, so it says the second Death Star, but this is clearly the first Death Star, unless the damage, well not the damage, the unfinished side is on this side, but it looks like the first the first Death Star. So that's very cool. Looks very nice. You can like, really zoom in there and see the details on it. So actually I think the Rebel fleet here actually has a, wait no, this is an ISD-2. weird. It's something I can't bring in anywhere. I think this might be a mix of my fleet and the fleet that comes with the Death Star and it's just letting me have it. So that's nice. Oh yeah, they do have a, a bigger fleet than we do this time around. Like how essentially by the time you've gotten to the uh, enemy's space station, um, their bases. Oh, I can't retreat with this. Uh oh, so I actually have to win this fight. Oh no. So, uh. Huh. We may have to actually be smart about this. So, let's do this first. Oh, it's turning at like a much slower speed than it did in the base. In the base game, it kind of just snapped to the position that it needed to be in. And then the, uh, the, the super leg just kind of went where it was supposed to. Come on, anti-fighter ships. Go be anti-fighter ships. I think we just saw I think that was a victory too. I did not think this through. Come on, Death Star. Please finish spinning. I really need you right now. Alright, come on. It's close enough. I mean, you can't really miss from this range. Please. Here we go. Oh, that was beautiful. All right, that was worth the wait. Maybe. You know what? You lost your planet privileges. Yes, what, what? Oh, no, okay, no, it got it. It got it for sure. Alright. That was just... Okay, wow. Is this a Snapchat filter or something? Okay, well, I mean, I guess a planet imploding is, uh... Is pretty bright. It was pretty far away, but... Again... I just did that because there's a very slight chance I might lose this. Oh, they got one of them there. Ah, there we go. Rebels came to their senses. So yeah, yeah, uh, we won, but it was kind of costly for the fleet that we had. But we have a Death Star now, and uh, Wayland's a lot easier to conquer. Alright guys, well that's where I'm going to end this episode of Empire at War. If you want to see more, let me know in the comments down below. Hope you guys enjoyed, hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday, and I hope to catch you guys in the next one.